Welcome to an animation of using a protractor to measure angles. The goal of the video is to illustrate the proper use of a protractor to measure angles. So first remember that an angle is formed when you rotate two rays about a common point called a vertex. So here we have an angle being formed. And as we rotate this second ray or the terminal side of the angle, we could rotate it anywhere from zero degrees to one complete revolution which represents 360 degrees or even further. But for this video, we'll stick to angles between zero and 360 degrees. Now to measure an angle, we use a tool called a protractor. There are two types of protractors. The first type is one that measures up to 180 degrees that looks like this. This is the most common protractor. But there are also protractors that represent one complete revolution or 360 degrees. We'll go ahead and stick to the one that measures between zero and 180 degrees, since this is the most common. So let's form an angle and determine how we measure it. Let's say we want to measure this angle in degrees. Well, first thing we have to do is line up this vertex with the vertex point on the protractor. And it would look like this. So the vertex goes in this point here. And we line up one of the rays along the right side of the protractor. And now to measure this angle, we just see where the terminal side of the angle intersects. And it looks like it intersects the protractor at about 73 degrees. Let's go ahead and check that. And we are correct. So if we change the angle, you can see it obviously changes the measure, but the procedure is the same. You put the vertex in the vertex point on the protractor, line up one of the rays on the right side of the protractor, and see where the terminal side intersects the protractor. And we can see here it intersects at 164.5 degrees. Let's go ahead and try to measure this random angle. We get our protractor out. We line the vertex point up with the vertex of the angle. We need to rotate our protractor so that one of the rays lines up along the right side of the protractor. Like so. And then we see where the terminal side of the angle intersects the protractor. Looks like about 20 degrees. Let's check it. And there it is. Now let's try to measure an angle that is a reflex angle or between 180 and 360 degrees. Let's say we want to measure this angle here. First thing we do is line up the vertex of the angle with the vertex point. Rotate our protractor so that the right side lines up with the initial side of the angle. And now this measures from 0 to 180 degrees. Now what we have to do is mark off 180 degrees and then rotate our protractor to where the 180 degrees angle stopped, line it up, and then measure again. So we'd have 180 degrees, looks like, plus 135 degrees, which gives us a measure of 315 degrees. I hope you found this illustration of how to use a protractor to measure angles helpful. Thank you, and have a good day.